Welcome to Arnold, Nebraska, home of Hidden Valley Outfitters and old sad daddy, Big Bucks. Hi, I'm Philip Vanderpool, and we're back at the Boss Hawk setup where I took old sad daddy, and we're gonna show you exactly why we were successful in this hunt. It all starts with preseason preparation, and that took place starting with the covert trail cameras. We get here September 1st, the Nebraska Open, 100 degree weather. But the good things are, we checked the covert trail cameras and we got some mega bucks. Now I could tell in the trail cameras that Boss Hog was the dominant buck in this area. You could tell he had an attitude. He's a big boy. It was time to get the preparation started, get the Alps ground blind, the tree stand preparation and everything ready in order. We had a backup plan and that was to go to North Dakota where we sealed the deal. And then turned around and came back with the temperatures about 30 degrees cooler. Remember, the very first time in the stand is your best high percentage opportunity. Get them boots soaked as you can see. Gotta make sure we get everything sprayed down. I usually spray my gloves and it's the only spray I know of that you can actually sometimes <laughs> go without taking a shower. And just spray down real good. Wipe your face, your hands, get it on there first. Cause it kills that dead. And that's what it does. September the 11th, we come back in here to hunt. It's an afternoon PM hunt, spraying down with the Dominator scent control spray. I can't tell you how vital it is this time of year to make sure that you're sprayed down and you're trying to be as scent free as possible. So what we did is we sprayed down good before we come in, head to toe, hunter safety system, everything. We soaked boots, pant legs, because all this tall grass we have to walk back into the stand. I take the Covert HD60, keep in mind I'm walking through here, and I hang it right there on that particular tree in the video mode. We're trying to catch the deer coming through here. We could have shot them I don't know how many times. They end up walking off, doe after doe and little ones. It was crazy. And we had them to walk all the way up here by this camera, right in front of the camera here, where I'd been all over traipsing around when I hung it. They never knew we were here. That was the key to this hunt. Had we blown those does, we may not have been able to seal the deal. They walk right on up through here and right up into the alfalfa field.
150, 200 yards out, steps out old sad daddy. Now keep in mind, this is September the 11th, guys. Once I got his attention with the stretch back grunt call, all I did is snort wheeze to give it a little more realism and act like I had an attitude and he wasn't going to tolerate that. Smoke. That's him. That is <gasps> What an attitude. I hit him both here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He just had to clean him. Knock out my friend. Did you see that? Light and knock. Here. Him back. Oh, thank you. Jesus. September the 11th. The weather conditions were perfect. It was the first time in the stand. Y'all, and the best part is we beat their nose. They walked right through our boot trails and old Boss Hall came in last and guess what? We got a knockout punch, virtue style with the elite. There's the air, Donna. They're here, so it's past what it looks like. Must have just been hanging by the, oh my gosh, he destroyed it, hadn't he? But it's a complete pass through, obviously. See that? My favorite color. Oh my gosh. I don't want to have to look for him tomorrow. It's too hot. Well, the dreaded moment that I hate. Because you hear it so many times. Well, when in doubt, back out. That's exactly what we're going to have to do tonight. Well, it was a sleepless night in Arnold, Nebraska last night. We got the cavalry here, and uh, we're going to go after old Boss Hogue, see if we can't recover him this morning. So let's go that way. How about, how about a dead buck? You got him found, buddy? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Come on, put this in. That's a pig. Right there. You hear me? He dead or heck. <laughs> One more time, we get to do it together, buddy. That's a big buck. Come here, Logan. That's my buddy right there, Logan. He got to be with me. Well, Crawl Daddy, remember that? We get a big buck celebration once again. Can you? This is heavy. He it's might be buck. heavier. Here, I got to take a guy out here. Let's go Thank look. You. Let's go look, guys. Thank you, good Lord. Oh my gosh. He is a stoned hoss. Look what a deer. Look what a buck, Gutty. Look at there, what a toad, buddy. Don Palmer. Whew. Is he not a hoss? Look at that. <laughs> Golly, look at the mass. <laughs> that is a toad. Come here, buddy. Thank you, man. man. Thank you, buddy. You see this dual gun call right here? The stretch back. Got his attention. I snort wheeze. Between the two of them, me snort wheezing. This buck came in just like it was November with attitude. That's, that's the coolest thing about it. A special moment here, September 11th in Nebraska, the Cornhusker State, Hidden Valley Outfitters. You know, everything came together last night. 
And it all goes back to preparation. The covert trail cameras, the dual grunt call, grunting the buck in, even September 11th, and then snort wheezing to close the deal. We lost blood last night. We were getting thin on the blood, ran into some eyes, and thought that it was him. However, it was a different deer. We waited, backed out, came back in this morning with help from Corey, his son Logan, and Ken, and of course the magic man Don Palmer and I. And look here, the end result. Boss hole. The elite, <laughs> the knockout lighted knocks, unbelievable. We had a great hunt, and what a special, special memory. And we dedicate it to all the men and women of 9-11 in remembrance of the victims and the heroes. God bless America. I shot this buck on September the 11th last night, and uh, my daughter sent this to me. And it says, in loving memory of the victims and loving honor of the heroes, September 11th, never forget. This hunts for y'all.